Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my normal location. I am now in Florida. I am here. I'm going to be doing some cleanup um, around some of the property here. Whew. From what I've seen thus far, there has been a lot of damage from Hurricane Ian. And while I am here, I am also going to be filming with some of fellow Patriot people, friends of ours down here in Florida. We're going to be doing some filming together in this area. That's all I'll say about right now. But as of this video, what I really wanted to talk to you guys is about our 30-day shadow work challenge that is coming up here on Esoteric Atlanta. So there are two things that are going on in the month of November hosted by this channel, kind of hosted by this channel. One is the yoga course that is starting on November 20th. That is a $500 course because you're going to have an intensive work with me and Emmy, my friend who's a Reiki master. And during this course, there's going to be a lot of homework. So that's a separate thing. But the 30 day shadow work channel, but the 30, the 30, sorry, I've been traveling today. So my mind's a little bit scattered. The 30 day shadow work challenge is going to be something that's free for anybody to do. If you're doing the yoga intensive, you can also do the shadow work challenge on top of it too. The two should work together for the most part. And there's things I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about before we get into this challenge. Um, I'm halfway through creating the challenge and I am having a lot of fun creating this challenge, but I do want to encourage you guys to be prepared if you want to do the challenge. There are going to be some hard things that are going to be asked of you, um, hard things more emotionally and physically than anything. And that is because that's what shadow work is. Now with this challenge, if you do want to sign up to do the challenge, nobody, nobody is going to be reading your journals. Nobody is going to be watching you do this. This is solely going to be an experience for you to have on your own. Now, I wanted to kind of go through the preliminary draft that I kind of created so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Now, let's see here. So basically, the way I've started it off is for the whole month of November, Esoteric Atlanta will be hosting a global shadow work challenge. This challenge will last 30 days, and each day will hold a few activities for you to do to help you in your journey of self-healing, self-discovery, and self-empowerment. I'm so excited that you have decided to do this. Please know that all of these activities are for you and your experience only. No one will be watching you, judging you, or reading any of your journal entries. This is simply a private experience for you and you alone. Since you have submitted yourself to this challenge, so this will be what goes to people who email me to submit for the challenge, your name will go into a raffle to potentially win prizes at the end of the month of November. The prizes consist of access to workout websites, tarot card private readings, and courses. Three to four winners will be picked at random, but the biggest reward of all is you seeing just how strong you truly are by doing this challenge for yourself. It is recommended that the exercise portion of the day daily challenge be done first thing in the morning before breakfast and before the start of your day. But if this is not doable for you now, you can do the exercise at whatever time of day works best for you. What you will need for the challenge is the internet, a journal, and castor oil if you wish to participate in Friday night oil baths. You might want to take a, a before photo on the day of the challenge, this first day of the challenge, and an after photo on the last day of the challenge so you can see how your body changed during the month for your eyes only. This is only optional. I personally advise against weighing. I'm not a fan of you weighing yourself. Weighing can cause an addiction to the numbers. and The numbers are just numbers. They do not define the internal and emotional work being done. But as always, that is up to you. Good luck and have the best month ever. So the first day, Tuesday, November 1, would be about a 45 minute. And I'm going to give you all the links. So all the exercise, what we're going to do, this is again, this is a geared towards beginners. So what we're going to do or what I'm going to do is every day I'm going to give you um, a different optional exercise. So we're going to be looking at the, the bar exercises, yoga, ashtanga yoga, uh, kickboxing, and there's going to be some fun dance videos as well for the Sunday fun day. There will be like six days of exercise. Okay. And Saturdays will be your rest day. 
So like the first day and each week, there's going to be a little bit more things for you to do. So like the first day, Tuesday, November one will be a 45 minute bar exercise, which you will follow that link journal, ask questions to ask yourself. If you did this first thing in the morning, how did it affect the rest of your day? Was the, how, what was the experience of the bar class like? Did you feel any emotions come up in class? If so, what were they? Can you explore those emotions more privately? And again, turn off all electronics one hour before bed. Instead, read a book or write more in your journal. Go to bed before 10 p.m. And then you have bonus challenges like drink 24 ounces of water today to help detox from the exercise. If you're a meat eater, you can try to go without meat today, replacing it with veg veggies. Take a hot bath with salts before bed. Try to relax into the bath, allowing the muscles to unwind. Day two, you'll have the bar again. Day three will be beginners. Ashtanga yoga are the half primary series. Um, you will, you know, journals to ask where you, where was your soreness today? How was the yoga different from the bar? So the beginning of the week, the first week, especially, it's going to be just basic questions in your journal about um, how you're experiencing the first week soreness, how's your body adapting, all that kind of stuff. By this day, I have said to look three people in the eyes and smile at them. You know, then we get into um, the second week or the 10 day mark, then it's going to up a little bit more. So there's going to be a little bit more. Um, at the beginning of the second week, you're going to start looking at food. Um, you're going to start keeping a food journal. How is food affecting you? This is all going to be outlined for you in the challenge. And uh, by day 10, you're a third of the way into the challenge. You're going to have a new challenge milestone. If you don't make up your bed every morning, start doing that. Um, it, your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. This allows your digest digestive system at least 12 hours of rest between dinner and breakfast. So as the weeks progress, there's going to be a little bit more. You're going to do some sound bowl healing. You're going to do some meditation in this as well. Um, again, bonus challenges every day. Now around the day 15 mark, so that would be November 15th, I'm going to have you look at the idea of what is motivation and what is discipline. Because a lot of times when we start these new adventures into exercise, and I know people watching, you probably all experience this, where you get super excited, you go join a gym, you're motivated that you go, you go through what we call the honeymoon phase and yoga. We call this the honeymoon phase. Like you're loving it. You're feeling great. The soreness is great. And then all of a sudden the honeymoon phase ends and the motivation is gone. Well, motivation, excuse my language, but motivation can be a fickle little bitch. We don't want to play with motivation. What we want to look at is what is discipline because discipline goes into devotion. Right. That's why if you are a Christian, that's why they call Jesus or Yahshua's followers disciples. Where does the word disciple come from? It comes from the word discipline. Discipline feeds into devotion. Devotion does not feed into motivation, nor does motivation feed into devotion. But discipline does. In yoga, we say once the honeymoon phase ends, that's when the real work begins. And so that's something I wanted to kind of talk about before the challenge too. It's going to come up on day 15. So you can kind of journal about that experience with the beginning of the challenge, probably being very motivating. And then towards the midway point, you start to feel that fizzle out. You don't want to get up and exercise. You don't want to go to bed early anymore. The newness is gone. And so we're going to look at that discipline and that devotional angle in uh, Sanskrit. This is called a sadhana. So how is your exercise? How is your shadow work? Can you make that your sadhana? Now, as you get deeper into this challenge, you're going to have to start answering some questions about your own boundaries, about your own childhood wounds that you're going to be journaling about. Again, no one's going to see this but you. So you can be as vulnerable with yourself as you can because nobody else is going to see it. Right. And so that stuff can be pretty painful to relive. But what you're going to notice too, is that through the exercise, you're going to feel all these emotions anyway, start to come up because the body is the GPS system. Now, a lot of people say, Oh, all you need to ground is just go stand outside in the grass with your feet for like five minutes. No, 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 no. Nowhere in any of the old sacred texts do they say this. They don't even talk about doing that. That is a great thing to do as a bonus. But that's not your grounding work. 
you can't have grounding work or shadow work without friction. What is friction? Friction is heat. It's opposing forces. That is why the body, for example, is one of the best tools to use to get to the heart of your wounds, your shadow work, because it's going to create that heat. It's going to create that friction. And when you're moving the muscles, when you're moving the bones, when you're moving the ligaments and the tendons, and you're raising your heart rate and you're pumping the blood through the, through the body, all that stuff is going to start to unpack itself. And it's going to present itself to you through discomfort, through pain, through anger, through laughter, all that stuff is going to come up. Now, most of the time when people experience this, they quit, they quit what they're doing. Don't quit because if you quit, that's you withdrawing from your devotion and your devotion to your shadow work, your devotion to that friction is what's going to propel you into ascension. You cannot ascend until you descend. You can't skip this part. This part is necessary. You think about planting a seed. Like when you want to grow a tree or grow a plant, the plant's going to reach up through the ground to the light, but it cannot, that plant cannot reach up through the ground to the light until that seed is planted down in the ground first. The seed's got to go down into the darkness of the ground before it can then reach up through the light. That's the same with you. You can't reach up into the ascension until you go down into yourself. You bury down into yourself and you go into that darkness and you go into that, mu mu that mud and that muck. And heal yourself, work through yourself. It's why we use the lotus flower in yoga because the lotus, lotus flower floats on top of like pond scum. Only through that grossness can that flower bloom. Same with you. Now, with that being said, I want you, if you are interested in doing this challenge, again, it's free of charge. And if you want your name to be entered into the raffle at the end of the challenge, nobody's going to come check on you and make sure you did everything perfectly, perfectly fine. It's all for your growth anyway. But if you want to be entered into the raffle, I need you to email me at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com. All I need for you to say is your first and last name and I'm in. Okay, that's all you need to put in the email at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com. I'm not going to email out all of the challenge schedule until the end of this upcoming week. So right before November 1, which, was, which is next Tuesday. Okay, so don't expect to get an email right away from, from that email address, but be looking out for it at the end of next week. All right. Now, with that being said, every day of the challenge, I am going to post the daily challenge on my community tab anyway. So if you're not interested in doing the raffle or being entered into the raffle, you can just follow along on the community board and you'll see the daily challenges posted anyway. Okay, so so yeah, that's that's basically what it's going to be. And we're hoping that by doing this challenge collectively as a group, we can really start to shift stuff because nothing is going to change until we change. It's just not, this is not the time to sit back and eat popcorn. You're not watching a movie. You're not, you are the movie. So let's make shit happen. Let's work on ourselves. Let's work on that underbelly of who we are because once we heal that, once we start to heal the underbelly of our own darkness, of our own shadow side, then collectively the underbelly of this earth gets healed. All right, guys, I hope that makes sense. Um, any questions that you have, just ask me down in the comment section below and I will try to address them. But again, email me at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com. I also will have a link down in the description box for my yoga course that's starting on November 20th. There are like a couple of seats left. So if you do want to partake in that, that intensive, and that will be intense as well. Um, and that will be what that you will be um, working with me in that one-on-one. -on -one. So I will be talking to you through your stuff. Whereas the 30 day challenge, you're just going to be working with yourself. So if that's something you're, you're interested in with the yoga challenge, there are only a couple of seats left. I've gotten a lot of people asking me if we're going to do this again. Yes, I am probably going to be doing the yoga intensive again at the beginning of the new year. We'll just have to see what's going on at that point. But that is my plan at this point to do another course at the beginning of the new year. And I'm also considered doing an, an, an intermediate yoga course as well in the future too. For those of you that have a lot of yoga experience, you're very comfortable with the philosophy. I am considering doing like an intermediate course as well. 
So anyway, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And uh, tomorrow there will be a mystery Monday. I already pre-filmed for the first part of this upcoming week. So there will be a mystery Monday that will be dropping at 8 a.m. I will be back on with Aquarius Rising Africa at 10 a.m. Eastern time to go over the Monday mystery. I don't know if Stephanie will be with us this week, but I at least will be there. So anyway, guys, and of course, Tuesday, we start the half hour material, which I'm really excited about. And then Wednesday, we have the Sophia material. Other than that, I've got, of course, some videos I'm going to be shooting down here live with other patriots here in Florida. And so be looking out for that, guys. All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.